this bus just sold. It's going to a new home and it was sitting out here in the dirt and the tires were kind of in a rut and they were kind of rocking it back and forth to get it out of the rut with all that power. They heard a big snap and that was it. And they thought that the drive shaft broke on it. And I'm, the reason that I'm here, I don't know if I can get a good shot of this now. Yeah, I can't see, I can't get it from down here, but it wasn't the drive shaft that broke. The pinion snapped. <laughs> uh, so all that torque, uh, trying to get it out of that hole and the pinion snapped on it. So I got to pull that rear end and uh, it's going to be fun out here in the dirt, of course. But uh, the owner got it jacked up for me. So I think it's going to have to go up a little bit higher still in order to get that rear end out from under there. Uh, so ring and pinion, tear it apart and see what's going on. So that'll be the... So I'm out here getting ready to pull this rear end and for this broken pinion on this bus. So I bring all my tools over here to pull the axles. And it's got these stupid things on there where I got to take off half the lug nuts just to even be able to see the end of the axle. Uh, if you haven't heard me say before, I hate these, but I also don't like these too. <laughs> uh, it's just more work, but hey, I get paid by the hour. So this is where I'm parked for this job. I don't want to bring my bus back through here since that other bus got stuck in the soft dirt. I don't want to risk it, but if you hear me complaining about walking back and forth to my <laughs> bus to get tools, it's because it's way back there. And of course it's raining today too, which isn't going to make it any easier. It rained last night, making this even softer back here. It's a maze to get that bus out of this backyard. Electric impact got four out of five. Actually, it got, I, I missed, I, I took off one of the wrong ones. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. Oh, here it goes. Now, hopefully. I expected to see this morning when I first came out here. All that work just to get to what I should have been able to see.
missed it. That rear end is over full. Okay, getting ready to climb under the bus. One thing that I don't work with well are bugs, most importantly spiders, and I've already seen several big spiders hanging out here, so I'm gonna go spray. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Um, under the bus, where I'm gonna be working. Preventative maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> thank goodness this side is already missing the top hat so i don't have to remove half of the lug nuts on it uh it looks like it used to have a hubometer on it that's missing here but uh get this off soon I was just complaining that I don't like bugs. And then as I was pulling these off, I happened to look around that backside and there's a, a froggy hanging out in there. Uh, it just kind of scared me. I'm not really afraid of frogs, but uh, at first I saw his head from this angle over here and I thought it was a snake. So it did kind of scare me because I don't like snakes, but uh, oh, damn. I'll get your heart pumping. found a good use for the top hat. Well, it's just enough not to. But it's supposed to, it's, right? It, it will come out of there, yeah. Yeah, you don't, we don't want to scuff, scratch it up, so let's give it a second here. And, uh, well, right now we can get the pinion out because that's out of our way. So let, let's do that, that's what we tried to okay. do first. So now we got the pinion. Now the drive shaft's out of the way, the pinion will come out. I don't want that pinion to fall out and hit you because there's no nut holding it in the end anymore, so. I can see it flopping around in there when you, when you bang on it. Will that go to the other side of you? This? Yeah. What side do you want me to hit, get hit on? <laughs> Which side of the head do you want to get to? Man, that's let's get that out of there. Let's just go slow when it starts struggling. Go to another one. That's good. Get it on top one. Okay, go back to the other first one. Good. Go to another one. Just keep working your way around like that. So you go just a little bit on each one, so you don't you don't tweak it in there. That's...
normally because the pinion gear is so long, it, uh -huh. it couldn't possibly fall, but I'm just worried about the end falling off and it bearing hit me in the face. Yeah. It's coming. See, this way I can push it down and hit you. <laughs> I'm worried it's going to go toward you. You're out. You're it ain't out. coming towards me. <laughs> if I, it's it's my, not even going to get me on the bounce. If it has <laughs> my way about it, it will. Oh, that's the whole thing. Don't let it hit you. In the face. <laughs> Dirty. Dirty. <laughs> I can't. I'm trying to go that way with it. Go that way. It's set up for that way. The pit wood for you to put on. <laughs> okay, is it fixed now? It's it fixed now. That's only the pinion. Now we got to get that whole ring out of there. <laughs> um, we're gonna drain the oil from that bottom there. Let's see if that's the right size. They haven't been right so far. I think you need one. Is it actually turning or are you stripping it? Probably stripping it. It's turning. Of course it's turning. What do you think? <laughs> and there's going to be about two gallons. That's if everything's in good shape. <laughs> well, yeah, it was over full, so yeah. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Well, let's see if I get that speckled look I've always liked. <laughs> it's pretty thick shit. come out with it. <laughs> Is there, yeah, a, so. there should be a magnet on the end of that usually. It's just it's gonna be beautiful. Yeah it's just it's just metal cream. That's fine. No no chunks. Light? Do we have any light anywhere? I have a light on my phone. Oh that's very good. The reverse direction trigger is not in a good position in that thing. No, it's in your hand. <laughs> yeah. Put it in there. Look, two jacks and one jack off under the bus. <laughs> no, four jacks and two jack offs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you are correct. Oh, and this this is a goddamn fault. Of course it is. <laughs> it's Rem not... Remember that in the scheme of things. The only bolt is top middle, okay? <laughs> Do you want to use the impact? Oh, I'm going into meditation mode right now. <laughs> Yeah, that's almost fingering. Amazing, honestly. Okay, and then we're gonna need to go get a transmission jack to get that out of there, because it pounds 300 pounds. Is it really? This thing here? Yeah, attached to it on the other side, gotcha. including a huge ring okay. gear. What time is it? What's that say? 37589.
Let's take a picture and blow it up. And then 37 slash 10. That should be a Rockwell number. So here you can see where the pinion just broke off. Just to give you some scale on how massive that is. Huh? Go sideways across the bottom. There you go. I gotta get my death in your video. <laughs> this is too big for this size. Now I can cuss because you're shooting. Mess up your video okay that's that's it's out of there is it 100 out i'd say so <laughs> <laughs> i'd say i'd say it wants to go down daddy <laughs> slowly let it down oh that's my arm <laughs> okay yeah don't pump it up <laughs> even though i'm left-handed <laughs> this is you want me to let it down or I want the pleasure of this shit. Okay. Uh. Oh God, that is not good. What's that? Um, the inside of the housing. Where the... Here, here, let's get this straight before you get... That's where the ring gear impacted on the front end of the differential there. I'm not sure how that could have moved in there like that. Something's, something else has gotta be wrong inside of here. That should never be allowed, able to touch that. What the hell is that? There's no shiny marks on the outside of this ring where those gear marks are. So that I don't think that that came from this rear end. If it would have gouged like that, I would see that here. There's no scrapes, anything. The edges are all perfect. This one's got a little chip in the tooth. That ain't nothing, and that's been there a long time, it looks like. 